Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another plan with me for you guys, but I just wanted to quickly show you this spread that I did for last week's. Um, I actually did it in a live plan with me, which you can see right here in my Facebook group. So if you don't want to miss anything like that again, um, feel free to join my Facebook group. It should be linked down below. Um, if you actually caught it, thank you so much. It was so much fun and I'm definitely going to do more of that. So I used a Little Miss Papery kit. Um, I think this is called Fall Bliss. I'm not 100% sure. I'm really bad at remembering kit names. But I loved using that. And this week I'm actually going to use another Lomas Paper kit. So it's going to be for the week of October 2nd through the 8th. And um, I don't want to show you the kit right away because it is the Little Mystery Box Mystery Kit for October. So if you don't want to see it and you haven't received it yet or whatnot, feel free to click out... Um, you know, just watch this later on when you're ready to actually watch it. But I'm going to show you the kit right now. So this is the kit. Um, let me start by showing like the full boxes somewhere. But so um, the theme is Autumn Leaves and Pumpkins Please, which is super cute. Um, it came with two freebies. I saw in the Lomas Papery group that a bunch of people also got two freebies. So I think it might be the default for this. I'm not really sure why, but... They're just standard freebies just with the print that actually and the colors that actually come with the kit. Um, these are the full boxes. They're super cute. I love the wood grain patterns. And um, the theme is right here on this bottom left full box, which just says autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. I love that this one says she is strong. It has glitter on it as well. Here's one page of the base kit, I believe. It just has some half boxes, quarter boxes. Um, sidebar stuff and all that. You've probably seen this format before. I think I've probably shown it off here too in one of the kits that I've used. Um, so this is the second page of the base kit. I love these colors so much. Um, this is the washi strips. Anyways, and then this is the last page of the kit itself. Um, it just has some date covers, other um, half boxes and quarter boxes, and the checklists. Yeah, so the featured shop of this month is actually Lexi Kylie Designs, which um, I've purchased from Lexi before. Um, I absolutely love her designs and her um, paper. It's a premium matte. It's buttery soft, and it's so vibrant. Um, yeah, I absolutely love the icons that she used here, so I'm really excited to get to use this kit. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this plan with me. Sorry this video has taken me forever to upload. Obviously, this was during the week of the 2nd through the 8th. And now as I'm uploading, it's already like two-ish weeks after the end of this week. So I'm really sorry about that. I have been slacking on my um, YouTube videos. And that is because I have been focused a lot on um, my job as well as um, my shop. So I actually talked about a live plan with me that I did the week prior to this. And I'm actually doing another one again this week. So if you're watching this just shortly after I upload, um, I'm going to do a live plan with me on October 22nd at 7 p.m. in my Facebook group. That's um, Pacific Standard Time. So I'm just working on my sidebar here and on the bottom I decided to not put Happy Mail anymore. I just put a full box, cut it down to size, and added some deco. My camera actually cut off here, but I absolutely love that deco. So if you guys have watched my plan with me videos before, you would know that I barely even fill out my sidebar, but this time around, it actually worked out for me a little bit better. I think I just started to track like my food, like my dinners and whatnot. So here I'm just showing you the pen that I'm using. I'm using the Energel liquid um, gel pen and it has the needle tip and it is my new favorite pen. It was introduced to me by Mandy and I just absolutely love how it writes. So that meeting sticker, you've probably seen that before if you've watched my videos before, but that is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And that coffee cup is from the kit itself. So here I just whited out the um, borders and I'm putting down a to-do list. Um, I know this was such a mess. I don't even know why, but things weren't lined up. I cut it crooked and I had to do it sideways to make it work, but eventually I got it to work. Yeah, so I'm just putting down a couple of to-dos from um, work and stuff. Um, I did also like double up on what I was writing because it looked more gray because of the whiteout. 
On that washi strip, I just put down these friends munchkins to note down that Mandy and I went to Tasty Pot. Um, we have been obsessed with this place. It is a individual hot pot place and there has not been a week where we hadn't gone. I know like you guys know I'm super into tacos and I go so often, but that's kind of been replaced by Tasty Pot lately, probably because it's starting to get cold. Yeah, right, not in San Diego. But anyways, um, that Target Run sticker is from my shop. It's actually from a sheet that was exclusive to a um, collab. And then the boba sticker is from Kina Prince. I just wrote down that I got boba from this place called Kung Fu Tea. Um, a lot of this is going to get lifted up later and you'll see why. But I really like the Get It Done sticker from the Lexi Kylie Designs sheet. So I wanted to use that. Um, most times I do a to-do list in the earlier half of the day. So I do plan chronologically. The earlier um, to-do lists are usually for work-related things. And then um, anything in the evening or whatnot is personal or shop-related. So if you guys didn't know, I do work 9 to 5 aside from working on the shop. So it's kind of what keeps me busy. But at this point, I actually realized that I had date covers and I was about to write out the numbers for the days, but then I also remembered that it came with date dots, so I just used that. I also opted to not cover up the flags on the corners, even though they were kind of a different shade of orange. It's a little bit more yellow than like the orange in the kit, but I didn't really mind. So after that to-do list on Tuesday, I'm just putting down a half box with this one girl from Happy Dia Stickers, and she is just not having it she has like a thundercloud over her head i mean i bought it more so for like migraines but i thought it was appropriate for how annoyed i was that day i don't even remember why at this point so at this point i actually realized um from wanting to put down a full box on tuesday that i never put down a full box for monday and i really wanted to utilize all of them so here i am just painfully lifting everything up but yeah so i'm trying to put that down now I have to move this entire thing. Um, it wasn't too bad, especially because Little Miss Papery stickers are on removable mat, or I do get them on removable mat. But I think this Kina Prince one was just harder to lift up because it was on the white outside. Anyways, I kind of rewrote Kung Fu Tea here, and I really didn't like how I wrote it now that I'm looking back, but it's whatever. I liked it better the way I wrote it the first time around, just so you know. But yeah, so here in this half box, which is also from the Lexi Kylie Design Sheets, I love it because it has glitter. But yeah, I'm putting down this um, Beer Goggles Munchkin from Once More With Love um, to note that I had happy hour. That grocery sticker is actually from the kit itself, from the Lexi Kylie Design Sheets again. So I'm just putting down a wind down sticker from my shop. And I'm noting down that I finished printing some things for the Ultimate Planner Advent Calendar. And yeah, so I'm starting off Wednesday with a full box to note down that it was really hard to wake up that day. Um, that girl is from Fox and Cactus. I need to buy more of these girls because they're super adorable. Anyways, I'm noting down what we had for our Wednesday um, catered lunch and we had Thai food. So that was super exciting. Um, our company really loves Thai food. So yeah, and we hadn't had it in a while. So here's my to-do list for work. And then in this half box, I'm just putting down a nap sticker because I don't know why I was really tired that day. I already struggled waking up and I took another nap in the afternoon. So here, I guess my camera cut off and I just wanted to note out that I put down a cooking sticker from LMA Plans. The Is It Friday Yet is from the freebie from the kit. And then that shopping um, bag is from Lexi Kylie Designs as a part of this kit. So that coffee cup is from um, the Little Miss Paper East side of the kit. And as usual, I cannot figure out how much space I really need to write things out. So I had to move that up. But yeah, so this Nope sticker is from Bubba Bear Studios. And I just wanted to change it up a bit by like writing like in a circle around it. I probably should have done this before the Starbucks run sticker because it's like, uh, you know, I note down that I went to Starbucks, but that waking up was a struggle. So yeah, definitely inverted. So here I'm just cutting up a to-do list flag, which 
you know, I forgot that the Little Miss Paper E kit came with like three heart checklists anyways. And I was totally cutting it down, but yeah. So here I was trying to write down like what I had for lunch, but because um, we had leftovers and I had to look back on the fact of what we actually had. I was about to write down what was lunch the week prior because I remember eating it, but then I realized, you know, that wasn't yesterday basically. So I had to cover it up with this one sticker from um, Wild Sunshine Co. And that is Sunny with Heart Eyes. I used the big laptop sticker that comes in the freebie with the kits to note down some things I had to do for the shop. And on the bottom, I used a little thing, covered it up with the shopping bag from the kit and note down that I did some online shopping. This week was filled with a lot of online shopping, guys. You have no idea. Anyways, on Friday, I tried to put down a full box and then I overlaid this um, half box. That girl is from the Honeybee shop and I wanted to note down that it was the start of a sale that I was having with the shop. As you can see, the three heart checklist is now the one that is actually a three heart checklist and not one that's cut down. In this half box, I'm noting down that I got a honey butter TN from the Foxy Fix. It was actually a mystery box and uh, I totally hesitated getting it in the first place. I think I ordered it probably a week prior and I love it. And honey butter is actually discontinued. That planner that I used for it is from Very Jenny Co. I don't have TN stickers surprisingly, so I'm gonna have to like get on that because I've been... I've had a TN for a while, but I've been more into like decorating it because I do now have like the A6 one. The honey butter that I got was a wide and that's not something I would carry around with me. So their bear emoji is from Boa Bear Studios and in this um, half box, I'm just noting down that I did more shopping and I just used stuff from the kit at that point. So as I was putting down the weekend banner from the kit that was from the Lexi Kylie design side, I did also see this treat yourself sticker. So I just wanted to put it down on there. Um, I did lift it up just to put down a full box next to it though. So on top of this washi strip, I'm just putting down a sleep in sticker, which is from my shop and then a half box. Then this girl that's lifting weights is from Gabriella Elena designs. And I wanted to note down that I went to the gym. Can we just have a round of applause for that? I haven't gone to the gym in like almost a year up until this point. But Mandy and I actually have the same gym. So we've been trying to keep each other accountable and like going together. Um, I didn't realize why that skipped over. But um, the ice cream emoji is obviously from the Coffee Monsters Co. This Kina Prince girl that has like beer, wine, and everything else. Um, it used to say Friday, but it wasn't Friday when we went out. So I did take it out um, and put um, turn instead. And then on the bottom, there was a sticker from Pookie Bear Cuties because we had McDonald's after going out. So yeah, I got to meet with, um, if you guys know, Denise from Paper and Milk. I finally met her in person. She was in San Diego for a bit and it was really cool. We went out to... Um, a couple of bars that night and I didn't feel so great the night after or the morning after I should say and I noted that down definitely in my planner. So the breakfast sticker was from Happy Dia Stickers. Um, the taco sticker is also from Happy Dia Stickers. Um, cut sticker is from my shop and then the heart eyes emoji is from Wild Sunshine Co. which now I realize I used two of them on that side of the spread. Anyways this is the full spread I just wanted to give you guys a full overview on it before I showed you any leftover stickers and whatnot. So I did have the two freebies. Oh, I don't know why I used two separate ones. I think at one point I couldn't find the other. And so here are just the leftovers. I still do have a lot of this kit left and I could probably still use it for another pretty much full spread, but a lot of the elements that I like using aren't there anymore. So I'm probably gonna end up destatching that, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this plan with me and I'll see you whenever I get another one up, hopefully soon. All right, bye.